Hello there and welcome to the first of many instructional videos we are set to make and watch this year here in science. For those of you that do not know me, uh, my name is Mr. Williams. I'm going to be your science teacher this year at NVHS. Uh, to give you a little quick insight about myself, I'll pull up my PowerPoint right here. Okay, let's go to presentation mode for a second. All right, give you a little insight about myself. I'm a 2004 graduate of Nemaha Valley High School. So right here, uh, purple and white Raider. 2008 grad of Kansas State. Kansas State, right, Mr. Turp? Go Cats! There you go. Okay. I'm entering my fourth year of teaching. Um, it's been a blast so far. Uh, enjoy working with kids every single day, trying to motivate you to make the most of yourselves. Um, try to teach you a little science along the way. I'm married to my beautiful wife, uh, Carissa Williams. She's a B&B &B gal originally. Uh, she's currently a para over at NBEMS, so some of you may know her as Mrs. Williams from last year. Um, and I have a wonderful daughter, named Wrigley, who is two years old currently, uh, and she is going to be a big sister here uh, in late December or January as we've got another child on the way, and actually a little boy. So um, that's a little bit about me. Uh, we've got the rest of the school year to get to know each other, though, so uh, let's go ahead and get down to business. All right? Now, what you've tuned in for today, I know you've been studying this subject for years, but I always like to start this class off by discussing and defining science. What is it? If you're walking down the street and a stranger stomps and asks you what science is, what are you going to tell them? Okay? Uh, when you go home tonight and mom or dad or grandma ask you what you have learned today, what will you say? Okay? If they ask, well, what is science? You go, what? What are you going to tell them? All right? So like I said, we're going to discuss and define this term, this subject, this field of study, this process we know as science. And the first step... I want you to pause this video, take about 10 to 20 seconds, and write down as many things as you can that come to mind when you hear the word science. Are you ready? Go. Well, what did you write down? I've got a few ideas of what you may have put. Did you put down experiments? Did you write down materials? Who wrote down Erlenmeyer flask? Did anyone jot down Einstein? Did you put down iPhone or Android? Again, just a few ideas, and some of you may have written down some of the aforementioned words. The beautiful thing is, I bet everything that each one of you put down can fall under the term science and help to define it. And that leads us to our first major point of what science is. Science is a gigantic field of study that encompasses many topics, ideas, processes, and technologies. It is huge. Okay? One person could spend their entire life entire life studying just science and never research and learn everything there is to know about it. Like I said, it encompasses many different topics, ideas, processes, and technologies. For instance, some of these. Tons of them. And this is just a small sampling of it. You have sub-studies that are sub-studies of these sub-studies. Okay? Sub meaning under. They fall underneath them. So tons of different types of sciences that one person could study. Some people spend their entire lives just studying a sub-study of one of these sub-studies. So, now, some of the smaller fields of science that you'll be studying this year are going to be, pull up my pen right here, okay, uh, physics, all right, we're going to start the year off with that here in general science. Uh, we're going to transfer that into a little bit of, where did I see it here? I thought I had chemistry up here, maybe I don't, maybe I skipped that. Anyways, a little bit of chemistry, okay, and then finally we'll end the year with a little bit of earth and space science, all right, which is mainly geology and a little bit of geography, all right, astronomy, and then after the state assessments, we'll go ahead and we're going to prep for your sophomore course, which is biology, okay? So that's the sub-studies we're going to study in science this year. All right. Uh, the kicker is we'll just be able to touch on each one of these topics with the limited amount of time we have throughout the school year. There are people that devote their entire lives, again, to studying just a small part of those smaller areas. Our goal is going to be to gather a little bit of information from each before May rolls around. Okay? So, science is a huge field of study, and it covers many different things. Is that it? Is that a good def definition? No way. Not a chance. We've got to add a little more to it. What is actually being done when someone is studying science? Okay, how does someone actually do science? We just got done describing the magnitude of science, i.e. Uh, the meaning of how large of a field of study it is, but how can we further define science by focusing on how science is done? 
In a second here, I want you to pause the video, take 10 to 20 seconds, and jot down some of the words and phrases that describe how science studies or does, how someone studies or does science, okay? Some of the words from your first brainstorm may apply here as well. So when you're ready, go. Well, what do you have this time? Experiments again? Investigations? Procedures, research, hypothesizing, if so, great job, you are on the right track. In addition to part one of the definition from earlier, we need to add a second part, okay? That second part is the definition that helps us to define what science is and how you do it. Studying or doing science is actively searching for answers to help explain nature. That's the short version right there. Some of the words you may have written down for your second brainstorm can help in jazzing part two of the definition up a little bit. So, let's do that. Studying or doing science is actively searching for reproducible, naturally occurring evidence that helps to explain naturally occurring phenomenon. And what are phenomenon? Those are things or occurrences or events that happen in nature. Okay? Notice the emphasis on the words nature and on the words naturally, okay, in both versions. Science is about what we as human beings can explain, okay? Science is all about what we as human beings can explain, okay? Um, in science, if humans cannot explain it, if we do not know, we state that, all right? Right now, science cannot explain everything, and that is fine. That does not stop the human race from continuing to try to explain nature through science, though. True science does not use supernatural information or ideas to help explain nature and naturally occurring phenomena. It's not considered science if explanations include the supernatural, higher invisible powers, or objects that cannot be reproduced naturally as evidence. All right. So, now back to breaking each version of part two down here. Okay. We can see that the foundation, the backbone for each is simply Q&A, question and answering. Science is an eternal, ongoing process of questioning and answering. Now we need to recognize the practices that help to carry on and to carry out this ongoing Q&A process. And those practices are the following. A little bit of observing, inferring, hypothesizing, and down through the list we go. Okay, what well, you'll be doing a lot of this school year, data collecting, data analysis, collaborating, concluding, and communicating. Okay, we'll be doing plenty of researching, but we'll also be doing a lot of inquiry, which is a fancy way to state the word question. So science is all about these practices right here. Okay, These scientific practices are what you'll be learning and applying this in school year, getting to know them and being able to state what practice you are utilizing and when will be huge in your overall understanding of the subject and subsubjects we study. So what is science? Can you tell me? Can you tell a friend? Does your answer and definition have to be exactly like the one we outlined today? Science is a gigantic field of study that encompasses many ideas, topics, processes, and technologies. Studying science is actively searching for reproducible, naturally occurring evidence that helps to explain naturally occurring phenomena, i.e. things, occurrences, events, etc. No, it does not have to be exactly like that. And remember, simply put, science is asking, as asking questions, okay? Questioning and answering. Scientific inquiry. All right? All the practices mentioned before help in one's asking and answering. So, that does it for this installment. Hopefully you have a good grasp now of the magnitude, or in other words, the size of this subject uh, that we know as science, and also a solid definition, okay? Um, be ready in class next time to share your thoughts uh, and your knowledge gained from this video. So the stuff that you may have taken down on that little guided note sheet, okay? Um, we may share in pairs, small groups, or the entire class, or all three, so be ready for that, all right? That's all I've got for right now. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.